Hello, welcome back to Mishmas. Before we get into talking handbags, let's open up today's advent calendars. Here we are for day seven. All right, what does Space NK have for us? Got the box right here. And okay, what does it say? Psst. Wanna know the secret to softer, shinier hair? Ah. Ooh, Olaplex. Number three, repairs and strengthens all hair types. This is pretty much like a full size, right? Because I know the Olaplex products are very concentrated and the bottles they come in are usually pretty small. 3.3 fluid ounces, 100 mils. Yes. Oh, how exciting. This is very exciting. Wow. Space NK is really, um, yeah, really doing their thing for this advent calendar. Okay, Joe Malone, what have you got for us? Whoops. Day seven. This is down here. Here it is. In the back. We have got, ooh, fig and lotus flower. Mm, it smells like fresh and clean, like a fig, with a little bit of like a floral bent. That's very nice. And of course, diptyque. Let's see. Day seven, eight, two, okay. Day seven, here we go. So we've got, we've got a voting. Ooh, canal. What is that? Ooh, it's like, is it cinnamon? Is that the translation for cinnamon? Ooh, that is, ooh, I may have to get a large one of this. This is, mm, this is perfect for the holidays. All right, today's Advent offerings. Love this, new to me, so that is incredible. The fig and lotus flower, that is very, very nice, very fresh. And this is awesome, like a full size of Olaplex from Space MK. Really good day. I just wanted to show you a new handbag purchase that I made. And it is an Hermes bag, uh, which you will see from the thumbnail. And this was a completely unexpected purchase. And I'll tell you the whole story. Um, so I've already unboxed the bag because I wanted to see what it looked like. I ended up getting a Birkin 25. And this is in the Gris Tortorel shade, and this is Togo leather. And I love, I just love this bag. I was not sure about it, but I absolutely love it. So essentially, I have purchased this pre-loved from a very good friend of mine. She just got it, and she's like, I don't really like the color. <laughs> and I was like, uh, what are you, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do with your bag? And she was like, I don't know. So she wasn't really planning on doing anything with it. And I was like, I, I will buy it from you. Um, as we all know, it's very difficult to buy a Birkin from Hermes. There's, you know, favorite customers and line, whatever. I've never wanted to deal with that. It's always been very annoying to me, just even the idea of it. Um, so yeah, she was willing to part with it. And I was like, are you sure? <laughs> because she had just gotten it. She's like, yeah, she's like, I just, I don't really like the color. So anyway, this is pre-loved. I think she's only worn it like a couple of times. So it is fairly new, or at least she took very, very good care of it. Um, and I'm very good friends with her. So I know that it is, it's the real deal, but it has palladium hardware. And I think what I didn't realize, because I actually have a Birkin 40 in black with gold hardware. I can't remember the leather. I think maybe the leather is, it's not Togo. Anyway, it's actually down in my garage right now because I never, ever, ever wear it. So story time. So I got the Birkin 40. Uh, my husband actually purchased it for me years ago. I wanna say six, 12, maybe 15, 16, 17, between 15 and 17 years ago, he purchased uh, a Birkin 40 for me. And at that time I was working in corporate America and it's, um, it's a great bag for work because, and in New York because it fits a lot and uh, yeah, it's a sizable bag. The 40 is very, very large. And at the time I sort of ignored it because I'm like, oh my God, it's an Hermes Birkin. Oh my God, oh my God. So I'm carrying it everywhere. Um, but because it's a handheld bag, it's so heavy once you like fill it up with stuff, especially if you're a New Yorker, you leave for the day and you like pack your life with you. Um, and so I just, I like built up some major forearm muscles <laughs> using that bag. Anyway, once like the novelty wore off, I started using it less and less because again, it's so big and it wasn't a bag that I would ever carry out to dinner or to a cocktail party because again, I have the 40 and it's, it's like a briefcase. 
So um, I just kind of altogether stopped using it once I moved here to Vegas. I never ever need a bag that large, at least not every day. So I don't know, I kind of had, like I, I held something against Birkins. I was like, they're just so, I'm like they're so overrated, they're really impractical, there's no shoulder strap, you have to carry it in your hand, blah, blah, blah. Um, but when like the 25 started getting more popular, all of these smaller bags started getting more popular, I started needing less giant bags. I mean, all the bags that I had in New York were giant because again, you need your gym clothes, you need your water bottle, you, like you need everything in your bag at all times. Um, so yeah, I just started becoming more and more attracted to the idea of maybe trying a 25. Um, and so yeah, when my friend was like, I'm, I'm getting rid of this, I was like, Okie dokie. So yeah, that's why I took the opportunity to get this. Again, I wasn't sure. I was like, is this a bag I'm going to use? It's so uh, structured. It's not as structured as the Kelly, but it is a structured bag. You know, it has a hard bottom, right? And again, it has these handles that you cannot put up. At least I can't. I can't put over my shoulder or anything. And on the 25, the handle is so narrow that I can put it over my wrist, but kind of like just barely. It's definitely a lot tighter than my 40. Um, I'm sure they space out the handles more because there's more bag. But I have really, really grown to love this bag. I think it's the size and I think it's the color. I think because I had black with gold hardware, and I showed it in previous videos and I just forgot to bring it upstairs. <laughs> Um, I can show it to you another time, uh, maybe when I do like a handbag collection video. But because I had a black and a gold, um, gold hardware Birkin, it just felt so much more uh, dressy. It just felt so much more formal. So I think the fact that this is, you know, it's a light gray, it's a neutral, and it has the palladium hardware, I think this just makes it a little bit more... <laughs> This is kind of a ridiculous thing to say about Birkins, but it just makes it a little bit more everyday. So I'm really, I'm really glad that I gave it another shot. So I'm gonna turn the camera in so you guys can see inside the bag. You can see actually what I'm carrying in the bag. Right now I don't have that much stuff. So here is the bag and then we've got the flap here. There's a zipper pocket. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with the, uh, the inside of the Birkin. We have the inside uh, like patch pocket here. This is a little bag that the lock was in so i actually just put uh, a mirror in here for uh, lipstick application or whatever and i just threw that in there i have my dior wallet i really don't have much in here i have my readers because you know this is 49. i have my car key and that's it but you can see that it can fit a lot more than that my phone where's my phone so my phone fits right in here and I have the iPhone 13 Pro, not the Max, but the Max would fit in here easily. So there's plenty of room for other things. I don't know if you've been contemplating a 25 and wondering if maybe it's just a little bit too small. I do think um, my next one maybe will be a 30, uh, but I do really like this size. I mean, I'm gonna sit with this size a little bit longer and, well, and see if I'm even gonna get another Birkin. Um, but yeah, if I do, I'm gonna see either a 25 or 30. I don't think I'll go above a 30 because then I think that's when you enter like briefcase territory. And here it is at my side. So this is what it looks like. I'm 5'5", five five. you know, I'm like a size 12, I would say. I'm like a 10, 12, or 14. And yeah, I was afraid also that it was just gonna look a little bit too mini on my size because, you know, it's not like I'm a size two or anything, but I think it looks fine. I think it looks okay. So that's it. That is my latest handbag purchase, my Hermes Birkin 25. And then the second Hermes bag that I want to show you is just one that was gifted to me by my aunt. So these two bags kind of fell into my lap. I mean, I did have to pay for my Birkin, um, but this bag, my aunt just gave me, she was just kind of decluttering her closet. And she was like, do you want this? I was like, sure. <laughs> so she was getting rid of, I don't even know what model this is or anything like that, but this is the Hermes like backpack. And I was like, oh, I think that seems very handy. So it just opens up like so. And then this opens up. And then that's it. <laughs> it's a pretty simple bag. It is canvas and then the accents are leather. And it's, um, it's quite nice. I'm not sure if she is missing or didn't give me like, I don't know if there's like supposed to be a lock or something here because there is, if you guys can see, there is like a hole right here in the strap. So I don't know, you know, if you kind of like hung something down from there, you wouldn't be able to open this up. So I think maybe there's supposed to be 
some sort of lock there that she, I'm not gonna ask her for. <laughs> Do you have a lock for that backpack that you so generously gave me? So anyway, this is the other Hermes bag that I somehow scored. There's like Hermes detailing here on the sides. It's just a really cool bag. I asked her like why she was getting rid of it. And I think she has this in two, in two different sizes. I think actually she was getting rid of both of them. Anyway, she just said that she wasn't using this one that much. So I thought, all right, let me take that off your hands. Look at this cool little backpack. So anyway, those are my uh, two new Hermes bags. I feel very lucky. I feel very fortunate. Um, I love them both. And yeah, and so many of you have asked me to do uh, like a handbag collection video. That video would take so long to film. I've been collecting luxury handbags since 1995. My first one was a Prada, and I, I've touched upon my handbags, um, but yeah, I haven't really gone deep into like a, like a full collection video. Um, so I have a lot of handbags, and I think I'm gonna do it when I have them all organized in one room, because right now I have handbags here. I have handbags in that one room, my handbag room. Um, I have handbags in my office downstairs. I have handbags in my garage. Um, that just old ones that I'm storing. I don't really sell my bags, although I am contemplating selling my Birkin 40 because I just don't use it. If I do a handbag collection video, it will probably be like sometime next year when I get when I get my act together and I'm able to build out that other room and like organize everything and you know show them to you the way they should be shown. Yeah, because right now they're just they're just like literally all over the place. So. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have any questions about bags, if you just wanna talk bags, comment down below in the comment section. I don't know if you guys saw my live stream with Teresa is Dead, but we talked about handbags and that was such a great conversation. It was so much fun. Um, so yeah, so anyway, I will see you in my next Mishmas video.